Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of Infamous 2, where this nerdy-ass YouTuber sits around and attempts to finally finish this Let's Play. Let's play Infamous 2! Right. Now, before we begin, I will say that I did do some degree of farming off-screen, where I managed to collect most, although not all, of the remaining Blast Shards and Dead Drops, of which there was actually quite a few, because I did a quick scan of the videos, and apparently the last Dead Drop that I collected was number 14 way back in episode 22, so it's been a while. And for the sake of those who have been following along with this playthrough since the very beginning, ten years ago, which, happy anniversary, today marks ten years. I started this June 8th, 2011. Ten years I've been doing this. So for the sake of those who have been following along since then, I will be playing all of the remaining, like, fifteen dead drops. But that's a little bit later. First, and for the final time, one more blast shard? Just, just one more. One more Blast Shard. There it is. And... I said, and... There it is. Just one more trophy. We managed to collect all 305 of these things. Good lord. And I love the fact that they actually named it just one more as a trophy. I think in the first game, when you collected them all, they were like... What was it? Geologist or Rock Collector or something like that? It's like they knew... The developers, Sucker Punch, knew that their players are going to be seeing these 300 plus blast shards just slightly out of range, and it's like, just just one more. Yes, I'm getting away from my side mission, my main mission, but just, just one more blast shard. Just one more. But since we're right here, let's actually start with the side mission, Ice Storm. After you cleared out that warehouse, the Ice Gang moved right in. Meet up with my boys, and let's make sure it sticks this time. Now let's see if I can remember how to play this game, because again, it has been a while, and one of the things about this game is that it doesn't really stick to the standards of third-person shooters. Wait, there's a couple enemies right there. They're not mission objective, but you can get a little bit of experience off of these guys, and it will do for some practice as well, because, like I was about to say, the thing with this game is that it doesn't use standard controls. Typically, when you play a third-person shooter, L2 is to aim, and R2 is to shoot. And this, L1 is to aim, and R1 is to shoot. So it's a little bit backwards, a little bit of a step back, and it's going to take a while to get used to. Hopefully I don't get myself killed in the process of trying to remember how to play. But yeah, these couple enemies right here are good practice. Oh, he's just dead in the water. One more up here. Where's he at? Oh, he's fleeing. He doesn't want any part of this. He wants nothing to do with Cole McGrath. Are you dead, or... Yeah, you're dead. I was gonna say, maybe I can arc restrain him, get a few more experience points. But yeah. That is one of the downsides of this game. You play a lot of third-person shooters nowadays. Away, oh, it's these guys. Fire. Your muscle memory kind of goes back to other games. So there might be some degree... Of, no pun intended, warming up. Oh, these guys are just gonna stay on the ground. Really? Ow. Right, I forgot about the shotgun guys. They dealt a lot of issues last time I played this game. But I think my counter to them was the shockwave, the X. As a way to just push them back a little bit. I'm actually full up on the... What are these things called again? Well, whatever they are, I'm full up on them right now, so I don't need any more. In fact, what I could do... Although I'm not going to waste it on a single enemy. Is next time I see a big guy, just waste my iconic Watch blast on one. Shoot it! Shoot it! Okay, he's just sticking right in the wall. He's not letting me anywhere near him. Would you die already? Yeah, I can use it on Helm. Okay, speaking of... Well, Freeze probably isn't going to do much against an Ice Golem, is it? That was probably a terrible idea. So... Ionic Vortex against this guy. That'll probably work a little bit better. Hopefully. Now, if I'm not mistaken... I think you can actually chip off his arms, can't you? 
Oh, that did nothing. That did absolutely no damage to him. Two Ionic Blasts and nothing. Okay, so different strategy against this guy. I need some lightning. Well, that's not going to charge much now, is it? Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure you can, like, chip off his arms. I don't know if that helps you any. But I know... Yeah, there we go. He's now one arm down. Now, if we can chip off the other one as well... Yeah, just, just spam grenades. That's the way to do it. In fact, since we're over here and there's plenty of cars... I can do this as well. I don't know how much... Actually, that's not going to do anything. No, that... Actually, he regenerated his arm. That's not... I didn't know he could do that. Since when could he regenerate? I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense. He is an ice golem, but still. That does nothing! That does absolutely no damage. I'm wondering if my ice abilities are actually hindering me here. Should I be using a different... Should I just be using pure lightning as opposed to ice element? I don't know if that means he takes reduced... He might. He might take reduced damage when I'm using ice abilities. In that case... Oh my god, um, is there any lightning in the house? I need to regen. And there's this thing right here, if I can get it. Now also, I believe there's a shield we can use if I can remember, there it is, frost shield. Now... Magnum Bolt, Graviton Blast, Ice Grenade, maybe I should be using something like... Alfred Grenades against this guy? Maybe that'll work better? Don't use Ice? Oh, actually, let's use Sticky instead. That way they're not going right past him. And again, it's a good thing we're doing a side mission now to practice for the main missions a little bit later. Any more cars I can drain? Okay, charge it up. Okay, my ice shield's not actually getting that back. If it is, it's very little lightning. Get that arm! Somehow, I don't remember him being this tough last time we fought him. Because I know we fought him a couple of times before, or at the very least, some of his siblings. And if I was able to beat them without even giving them time to regenerate their arms, then there's something different going on here. Although that's probably on my end. What did we do last time? What is tr well, we have sticky rockets. Maybe we should just do a lot of sticky rockets on him. stops regenerating. Oh, don't tell me. Okay. That probably should have killed us. Yeah, he slowly... He actually does regenerate himself. It's not just his arms that come back. There must be an easy way to deal with this guy. There must be. Yeah, and if you're not hitting his weak points, it looks like it's not even dealing any damage at all anyways, so... I mean, it's a good thing they put that generator right there for us. We could only just walk... Cole, that's a big gap. You can go right through that. Wow, invisible walls much. 
He's actually regenerating rather quickly, too. This should not be a tough fight. Yeah, just face me with that arm. There we go. Wait, I think... Here we go. Mash. Mash the buttons. Is that it? Did we get him? Nope, he's still alive. Just go down already. I don't know how much that shield actually helps. Maybe melee will help. Well, if I can actually get within melee range. No, I don't even think that's an option. As soon as I get near him. There we go. I think it's just spam grenades. That might be the best way to deal with him. But damn, did he have a lot of health that he could regenerate. Far tougher than it needed to be. And yeah, just deal with this tiny little peon now. Wow. Okay, well there's that. But I guess sit right back because we got about 10 to 15 minutes worth of dead drops of exposition and backstory for Wolf, Quo, John, Kessler, Bertrand... And the rest here on Numere I'll to listen to. Starting with impressions. Actually, I think the remaining dead drops I left right here. The surveillance X04. Meeting with NSA agents John White and Lucy Quo. I've been observing Cole McGrath for weeks now, and I'm starting to get a clearer picture. We're pretty antsy over here, John. What have you found? Well, despite overwhelming adversity, I believe McGrath is everything we hoped for. And oh. countless times now, I've watched him stop and heal civilians. He goes out of his way to help people. If Kessler's predictions about the beast are true, it'll take more than heroism to stop him. If we have an angel in our pocket like this guy, it's hard to imagine losing. Thanks for the update. Wolf and I clearly have some thinking to do. Audio surveillance file X04, meeting with NSA agents John White and Lucy Quo. That's a lot better, John. We can hear you. How are you calling us? It's a tin can on a string at this point. After the quarantine went into effect, we've all had to improvise. What's going on in Empire City? We're not getting much information on the outside. <laughs> Neither are we. Not getting enough food or medicine either. The president claims they're sending supply drops three times a day. We're all trapped in here. It's like they want the disease to take hold. There are no efforts to study it. You know what? I believe they knew this would happen. The race fear, the disease, all of them. They had a blockade around the whole city almost before the dust had cleared. This points to a massive conspiracy. What if the NSA and the First Sons are working together? I can't believe that. But you're right, this is disturbing. We had no idea things had gotten this bad. Can you tell us about the disease? Well, they call it the plague in here. It started striking the population soon after the blast. It's highly lethal. Some folks died the very same day they show symptoms. Oh, God. This is my fault. Every one of those deaths. I should have done more. Audio surveillance X27, meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. Look, we've all heard Kessler's prediction. A conduit of incredible power will rise up in Empire City and then decimate humanity. After everything we've seen, I for one believe him. He convinced me as well. All of Kessler's predictions have come true. He won't be wrong about the big one. Pity the NSA doesn't share our convictions. They would just fall back on guns anyhow. We are the only ones who understand the nature of the situation. Well, if we can't work within the NSA, then we have to go out on our own. Audio surveillance file X76. Meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. I wanted to uh, advise you of a recent incident. Kessler's plan is unclear to me, so I'll just stick with the facts. Kessler
Since he kidnapped McGrath's girlfriend, Trish, and dangled her off a rooftop. He said McGrath had time to save her, but there was another rooftop with six doctors about to die. McGrath had to choose. Sick. Mouse. Did the right thing. Tried to save the doctors. He understood the weight of all those lives. McGrath has a strong moral compass. Seems so. But now more than ever, I'm certain he's the one we need to fight the beast. Audio surveillance file X-137. Meeting with John White and Lucy Quo. Wolf's been working on new ways to boost a conduit's power. The results are encouraging, but now they need to be tested. John, can you convince McGrath to come to Numeray? No, it's not the right time. John, please, it's the perfect time. What if the beast shows up? You said it yourself. McGrath is not ready. Let's make sure he is. Not yet. Look, I'm working with Cole to track down the Ray Sphere. That supersedes everything else. For all we know, the Ray Sphere could be the catalyst that creates the beast. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file A078. I am not happy! This isn't how it's supposed to be. You... You... You turn me into... A monster! We simply have no way to predict how a conduit's power will manifest. I can't even control myself. What am I gonna do? Why would God do this to me? You... You're gonna make this right, Doctor. You hear me? The process is irreversible. I am sorry, but I don't... You can't help me. I have no more use for you. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file R013. These monster attacks have the whole town in a panic. I can't understand where they're coming from. You need to get out of your lab more. People are dying out there. The Numeray police force wasn't equipped to deal with this crisis. Most are already dead. Bertrand hasn't wasted any time either. His militia have rushed in to fill the void. And while some are fighting monsters, they're also gaining acceptance as the de facto police force. They've started accusing some people of having deviant blood. Bertram's going off to conduit? <sighs> it seems that way. Everything that's happening seems to benefit Bertrand. Most people have started looking to him for leadership. I can't believe this is happening. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B074. You've been holding out on me, Doc. I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on you. It was a happy accident. I was looking for ways to refine expended ray sphere cores after a blast occurs. Possibly reuse them. One of my test animals happened to get too close to the core sample and absorbed it. Afterward, I discovered it was exhibiting completely new conduit talents. Maybe your blast cores can do something for me. Surely God intended me to do more than turn into mindless behemoths. A new power that might reveal his greater plan. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file R84. Look, I know John is dead, but I, I'm not sure I should leave you here. I'm on the verge of completing the RFI. I can't leave, not now. Bertrand will make his move soon. You understand that. I think he means to seize all the First Son's assets. I agree. Very few of them showed up for work today. You should get those blast cores hidden. I'll be fine. Bertrand still needs me, remember? Quo, you'll miss your boat. Maybe the last one out. Go, find McGrath. Bring him back here, and for God's sake, hurry up! Voicemail from Lucy Quo. I made contact with McGrath soon after I got here. He wasn't that hard to find. <laughs> He is cagey around women, otherwise I would have tried some romantic methods. He's obviously still in mourning, so getting him to leave may be difficult. So far, my best angle has been you, Dr. Wolf. The promise of new powers never fails to get his attention. Audio surveillance of Lucy Quo, file R835. The new species from the swamp display humanoid characteristics. But how did they acquire the DNA? Which way up or down the food chain did they travel? My guess is they're on top of the food chain. Of course, the ambient wildlife of the swamp was exposed to radiation. Animal mutations, it's a viable theory. I just don't understand why Bertrand has refused to bring me samples of the creatures for study. Why would he? You come up with some kind of repellent and his militia is out of a job. 
Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand. File B-6-2. Did you know Kessler had visions of the future? I had him over for lunch yesterday. He said he was visiting to inspect our facilities, but I suspect he came here to Ray just to give me a message. He predicts the arrival of a conduit of such power and wrath. It's going to consume the world. He called it the beast. He said it will come here to Numeray, that we must arm ourselves, prepare for its coming. He said we don't have much time. Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed it is. But you know, I do believe in prophecy, Doctor. What do you know about nuclear weapons? I heard gunfire all over the lab and screams. Thought it was a government raid until I heard Bertrand's disturbing voicemail. No doubt you're wondering why I posted armed men at your door. Kessler is dead. The first sons are finished in Numeray. I've seized all their assets. You work for me now, Dr. Wolf. And there's much work to be done. The good news is, you make great strides with me at the helm. I'm gonna triple your funding. And you won't have to experiment on rats or monkeys anymore. You'll have an ample supply of human test subjects from now on. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B-107. It's a thing of beauty, Doctor. How powerful is it? It's a low-yield missile, as per your instructions. The payload should be roughly 51 kilotons. But I've never made anything like this before. If you'd allow me to run a blast test... Out of the question. If we do that, the government will be at our doorstep before we even had time to measure the results. We'll just have to hope for the best. Hope that we never need to use it. Audio report. Fine. Door won't hold them. I've done what I could to reverse the damage I've unleashed on the world. After Bertram took control of the first sounds, I chose to stay on and I committed further acts of horror upon his twisted leadership. His resources allowed me to finish the RFI. That is all that matters. My God, I hope it works. I hope it exceeds my wildest expectations and put an end to the plague. Forgive me, Quo. I wish I could have warned you. That is the last we heard of Dr. Wolf. So yeah, he's been working with Bertrand since the beginning, and then he ends up regretting his decision. So hopefully this RFI does work, and it doesn't make Bertrand even more powerful. Zeke, I'm on the waterfront. Bertrand's ships are still there. You gotta get on board and disable them before they cast off. <coughs> Try the anchor winches, man. They're electric. <laughs> Good idea. Right, I completely forgot that Zeke had a cough. He's been infected by something, but that's about the only sign he's shown so far. I completely forgot that we need to find some way to help Zeke out. Oh, boxes. Love my boxes. Ah, eh, you got nothing on me. Where are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Back here. Uh, these ice guys got the boat locked down. Really? Think they knew what we were planning to do? Man, I wonder. Maybe. Kind of in a fight here, Zeke. Oh, right. My bad. Yeah, Zeke, I don't know if you can really do that much. I got this. Alright, let's actually put that shield back while we're fighting against this guy just so we can deal with that laser of his. All right, one down. In fact, actually, what we're gonna do... Get this. Actually, there's only two guys over. We don't need to waste one of our ionic blasts. We can save it. 
Wow. Okay, that was a bit unexpected. Two shotgun blasts to the back and we're dead. Try that again. I didn't think he actually had us there. The problem was I wasn't able to drop down in time to attack him. I got the boat locked down. Really? Think they knew what we were planning to do? Man, I wonder if maybe kind of in a fight here. Get no down fight. here. My bad. All right, now we'll do it. There's only like three enemies, but still, we got a we got a refund. That's fine. Deal with you with the damn shotgun that killed me last time. Should not have. I should have lived through that. That's fine. It's not like the checkpoint was too far off. Now, doesn't the, like, special actually recharge my electricity? I'm pretty sure it does. If I hit him a couple times and do triangle, it's supposed to replenish me. I don't know if you have a rocket launcher or not. I don't trust you. Yeah, sure. Duck and cover. See if that helps you. Oh, when the missiles rain down, duck and cover. Hey, can't run away forever. Clear. Okay. <clears throat> you better go find a way to scuttle that ship. Aye, aye, Captain. You better hurry up. A ship that big could fit a hundred of them in that cargo hold. <clears throat> Maybe more. Right. Let's hope I don't wake them up. This ship's going nowhere. I'm heading to the next one. That's my boy. Yeah, they haven't invented a machine you can't break. Wait, is this thing actually about to sink? Oh, I don't like how many red just popped up on screen. That actually worries me a bit. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that jump. Okay. Take it slow. And actually, we have an ability now that I need to be using more of. The tether. Go a little bit Spider-Man in this game. In fact, if we were really good, we could actually chain it together going from one to the next. Shield, protect me. Where's he shooting me from? He's shooting from somewhere. Because I saw two late There he is. I don't know how much that actually recharges my electricity, but it doesn't seem like it's that much. Okay, maybe a little bit. It's a very situational ability, though. Not something I'm going to be using that often. Wait. Ice launch. Oh god, um... Get the hell out of dodge. Where's some electricity? I need to charge. Speaking of... In fact, there's a couple of guys this way. That's one way to deal with them. Don't fall in the water, do not- okay. Yeah, unless I'm actually traversing, I shouldn't have the lightning tether on that quick swamp. One more down. If they want to just sit up on that perch, that makes them an easy target. I'm not too concerned. Actually, recharge these two ionic blasts really quick. Wait, where, okay. I might actually die in the process of trying to get this. So you know what? Not worth it. I'm gonna just leave that right in the water. Let the fishes have it. Watch as Aquaman does an ionic blast. Which actually, if you've ever played Injustice, he's got a pretty damn good tsunami that he can call forth. Outside of the 50s cartoon, Aquaman is a badass. There you are. Okay. Easy target. Come on down, Bobby boy. And you got no ticket on this ship. You are nothing but a stowaway. And this is how we deal with stowaways. That is, if you would stop jumping around like a flea. Have a big gun, huh? Oh, here's this guy again. Hello. Well, we learned the best way to deal with him in that side mission we did. Thank goodness we did that. 
just spam grenades. That's all you need to do. Just spam, spam, spam. And hope that there's something nearby to recharge our energy with. Although I don't know if there is anything nearby. I mean, aside from his own lasers, his laser beams... Nope, that's not it. And it says there's a lot of lightning nearby. I'm not finding too much of it. Okay, recharge. Come on. Give me a little bit more of that juice. Actually, deal with these guys first, because they're going to hit me from behind. And I'm not expecting it. I don't want to deal with them. This almost seems like ch very cheap, right? Just going back right here to a safe space away from the guy. He's able to clip right through walls. That seems a little bit cheap. Okay, just kill this guy first. There we go. I mean, he's low on health, so this strategy is working. Hit and run, hit and run. Cheese this little boss fight. In fact, I'm waiting for him to go down so I can do that weakness thing I did last time. Come on, expose his weaknesses. He's very low on health, he should be near dead. Or does that only pop up when you've removed both arms? Maybe. Okay, don't need to die here when we're that close to killing him. No, come on. Come on, game. I hate that regeneration of his. It's so annoying. As soon as we get that other arm down, he regenerates the first one again. See how obnoxious that is. Of course, he's actually protecting his other side. And it's a shame that our Ionic Blasts don't do anything to him. Wait, hold on. Get down here quickly before he regenerates again. Button mash! Treat this like Mario Party. Just keep going. And I think both of his arms are back. But, he's incredibly low on health, so we should be fine. Go down already! No, no. I, th there has to be another way to deal with these guys, aside from just constant spam. There's got to be another strategy. Like, yeah, you can target his arms. Maybe I'm choosing the wrong Plasma Blast. Maybe instead of using the Magnum, I should be using something like Bolt Stream. Maybe constantly attacking it, his weak points would cause them to go away quicker? I don't know. Good to see you, McGrath. John, you're dead. You're right. I was. For a while. I can still feel it. The ray sphere exploding. Tearing me apart. Atom by atom. It somehow... 
part of me lingered on. I had to pull myself back together. Do you have any idea how hard that is? It sounds tricky. Not a ghost. You must be some sort of conduit. Why are you here? I want to show you something. And now he's taking her powers. You can see it now. See the play. Where are you? Meet me at the play. You can see it for yourself. Okay, so there's pretty much confirmation right there that John is the Beast, and sadly, and I think I've hinted at this before, I sadly knew that John was the Beast. Someone came in way long ago when I first started doing this Let's Play and spoiled that revelation to me, so I sadly knew about that long ago. However, I had no idea that he would show up in his humanoid form. I figured he'd just speak to us tel uh, telepathically as the Beast, going, Cole, this is John. I'm really the beast. I'm not a bad guy. I saved Empire City from a huge blast, and I just saved New Murray as well when you dropped that nuke on me. Stop trying to kill me. I'm here for you. And yes, that's a terrible impression of John's voice actor, whose name escapes me at the moment. Who is it? And I know who it is, too. Like, I can see his face. He's the guy who's been on Mad TV. Lake spreading crap. You think it's just a New Murray? It's all over the East Coast. Millions are infected. In a few weeks, it'll be worse. What about the government? They can't stop this. But we can. How? I'll show you. One of the victims in the plague war is a potential conduit. Use the power I gave you. Find her. Oh, it's actually the opposite. He gave us a power. He didn't take one. But yeah, he's uh, Samurai Jack, he's Jon Stewart in Justice League. Like, oh! Ooh, he's giving us X-ray vision. Did he just implant us with some of that radiation from that nuke? Do I need to get tested? Should I even be around these people? I mean, they look pretty sick as it is. I don't need to be making their illnesses even worse. I mean, I'm no doctor, but these people's organs look kind of enlarged, engorged even, swollen. You, are you the person I'm looking for? I, mean, I can probably heal everyone. Alright, you have to hold triangle. The power of coal compels you. I mean, yeah, I could probably just heal everyone. It's not like I don't have an overabundance of resources to heal these people with. Although, actually, don't I have an ability that's supposed to spread my healing touch to everyone within a range? You're gonna let that poor lady die. I know that voice is gonna bug me. Hold on. Wait, we can heal these people multiple times. You're gonna be okay. So that first dose of electricity is for the plague, the second one for the cold, She's and the third one... Enough. Eh, we'll get rid of that canker sore that's been bugging you for the past couple days. Good as new. I mean, yeah, we should probably actually prioritize the person we're supposed to be looking for right now. Who knows, maybe they're the ones infecting everyone She'll else. Die soon. Better do something. Patient Zero. According to the mini-map... There she is. Ah! Heal her. If you can. See, there's your problem. Nothing. These people are already dead. Nothing can be done for them. She's different. Because of the conduit gene? I have the power to save her. To activate all our kind. But not without cost. The beast! I mean, that's just instant chemotherapy. Oh, yeah, probably don't want to work with the beast on this one. Thank you. 
What? Another person with the ability to fly, really? Humanity is dead. Help me save what I can. This game does a damn good job of making me jealous. Everyone can fly. Everyone can fly except for Cole. But yeah, that's a little bit of Magneto. Kill the normal people and save just the in, uh, the people with powers. Hey guys, Bertrand's holed up in the Malloy building, waiting for a chopper. <coughs> Too bad it won't ever arrive due to a heinous act of sabotage by yours truly. <laughs> nice work, Z. I'll ambush him on the helipad. We got him this time. If he changes into that monster again, my boys will light him up with some of them spotlights Zeke invented. Yeah, the Dunbar beam. But yeah, this is straight up Magneto. He's gonna kill all the normal people in order to save the mutants. Those with the X gene, those with the conduit gene. That's pretty much what this is. So, yeah, no, let's not actually work with John on this one. I don't want to be a member of the Brotherhood, although Quicksilver is pretty cool. But no, no, like, what actually happened to John with that race for anyways? Like, this sounds like a complete divergent from his character from the first game and from the dead drops we've been listening to. It sounds nothing like him that he'd be willing to sacrifice all the human race just to save conduits? Really? I don't... No, if that sounds like his character, there must be more to this than that. The, the race fear did something to him. And don't tell me he became enlightened. That's such a cop-out.